All right, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna go ahead and change out this front lip. All right, so today in order to remove the lip, you'll need these tools, a seven millimeter socket or a wrench, a, oh, this is the adapter, a T15 hex. Doesn't have to have the hole. Um, needle nose pliers for pulling out the uh, 3M tape. A flathead if you have a previous Spoiler lip, I mean a uh, previous lip, carbon, and some 3M tape. So first things first, I'm gonna take out the bolts underneath and then we're gonna go from there. Underneath, um, you'll see right away which ones are the bolts you have to do. If you do have the um, your the smaller lip, um, there are some clips you gotta kinda pull out, uh, which is very easy. It's not hard at all, but you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove all of these. And then once you do that, We'll go to the next step, which is removing any adhesive that is on here. Then you're just gonna wanna go ahead and remove any of them. I'm using an electric battery, so it goes faster, but. Really easy to pull out. There are guiding pins as well. Um, like this one's your, your, your guide, so when it comes out, you'll know where to put it back in as well. All right, so now I removed all the bolts. I kind of have them in the pattern where um, the same bolts go. And then now it's just gonna be about getting the top lip off safely. And I put 3M tape on this one last time. So you just kind of got to massage it out. Um, let me see what I can do. So to go ahead and remove that adhesive, you want to pry it off or use a heat gun since I want to do the more um, DIY garage approach, uh, you're going to go ahead, you'll grab a flathead and start prying it little by little. So I'll show you right now. So you'll put your pry more towards the carbon fiber so you don't scratch any of your paint. And you'll dig it in while pulling um, with two hands. Uh, you won't be filming like me, however, you'll be starting to um, lift it and get that uh, any of the adhesive off. So I remember I put a good amount when I was in there, just uh, so nothing would fly off. And then just slowly start lifting it. So right now I'm just using my hand pressure. Um, the other thing you gotta consider is these mounts down here are holding it. So when you're lifting it up, it's going with it. Um, so just do it little by little. So I'm gonna start prying it from here, working my way because I have pretty much every inch of this end and portion um, adhesive tied down. A weird angle because I'm trying to have you guys see. Let's try again so I can do it right. So I lift it, find underneath, just lifting up, pulling. There we go. Uh, I don't know if the video got that, but I was just lifting and pulling. So, oh no, yeah, be careful with that. Yeah, be careful with this corner. This is all PPF, thankfully, but still. And then I'm gonna repeat. So I started prying from here, went in to the side, and I kind of made my way towards the middle. Now that this is off, I'm gonna either follow it, trail it, or I'm gonna do the opposite side, which starts here and works my way down. All right, all right. So I went ahead, pried up to here, and then I did the same thing back on this side. So now I'm just gonna clean this up, wipe it down as well, and then we'll prepare the next uh, lip. Oh, check out this quality. So I got this uh, other one, I believe it was from a different manufacturer. And just look at the difference. Wow. Look at this difference. A lot more sturdy. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and install some 3M tape. Basically, so you can see, it's gonna be all through the edge of here, up to here, going down, all the way till you get to the next corner, which is right there, or the following. Um, the only thing once you're in there is uh, aligning it. So just be careful, it's kind of like a one and done. So get it as close as you can to your grill and then um, it should be good. Just make sure your holes line up afterwards, which they always should with the um, with the guide holes. 
Yeah. All right. Basically, uh, before I even put the 3M, other than this side, um, I pulled out the tape a little bit so I could run a whole line, kind of pull it out once it's trimmed. One thing that's different is um, you're gonna remove just this first bolt right here. It's a seven millimeter. Um, you're gonna pull the flap down and you're gonna slide this in. You'll slide this in. So now you're sandwiching your um, spoiler, I mean your lip, excuse me, so that it sits and it gets reinforced pretty much. Look at that. All right, so I went ahead and put on the lip. Um, I drilled everything down, all the holes lined up. These clamps are pretty good. They're like, re they push up against it. It was so, so hard on it that uh, the 3M, when I was pulling it, it ripped. So try to get the 3M as close as you can towards the edge of your lip, if you want to do the same thing as me. But this is how it looks. So yeah, if you want to double check everything uh, like I am, just make sure everything's tightened up um, to there. And it's pretty much good. Look at that. 